Good morning, Venice High School. Tomorrow is the 20th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks that changed our way of life forever. Your current teachers were either students or teaching at that time, so stop and talk to them about it. Go home and speak to your parents about it and ask about their experience and find out what happened from their perspective. And please take an extra minute today to reflect on the tragedy and the lives lost on September 11, 2001. We woke to a bright September day full of promise. All across the country, we were taking kids to school, going to work, having coffee with friends. And then the phone calls began. Oh my God, a plane hit the World Trade Center? How could that happen? Are you watching this? Turn on your TV. And a morning that began so sunny and bright was the beginning of America's darkest hours. We watched in disbelief at the flames from the North Tower shooting into the sky, the air filling with smoke, and then Flight 175 flies full force into the second tower. The city's bravest and finest running towards danger to help save those fleeing from it. Images that can never be erased from memory, pictures that will never be lost to time. There's confusion and chaos, and every passing minute brings a new tragedy. A third jet veers into DC airspace at ground level, exploding in the nerve center of our national defense, killing over 200 people. Heroes in uniform and civilian workers rush to the rescue, leading thousands to safety and evacuating children in the Pentagon daycare center. Over 100 miles away in the sky over Pennsylvania, passengers on flight 93 call their loved ones to say goodbye and then launch a courageous attack to regain control of the plane. It plunges into an isolated field in Shanksville. But the sacrifice of those on board that day saves countless lives in our nation's capital. Then, as thousands watch from the streets and tens of millions watch at home, the South Tower collapses. One hundred and two minutes after the first attack, the North Tower falls. In less than two hours, almost 3,000 human souls were lost. They were moms and dads, sons and daughters, senior citizens with fond memories of days past, and young people with dreams of tomorrow. And it didn't matter their color or religion, who they were or where they were from, for on that day, they all were our brothers and sisters. At Manhattan's Engine Company 55, where I worked for a few years, the guys I served with each knew 20 to 30 firefighters who made the ultimate sacrifice. 5,000 children lost a parent that day. 5,000. 880 of them were firefighters' kids. In the hours that followed, we did more than mourn. Our grief and anger were the catalyst to bring Americans together, doing whatever we could to help, donating blood, giving comfort to friends and to strangers alike, searching for survivors. But there were so few to find. As day turned into night that September 11th, 20 years ago, a skyline and a nation were forever changed. But the fires that burned helped forge a spirit of unity. From the dust and debris, heroes arose. And the memorials that stand today on those hallowed grounds remind us of the promises we made to those we lost and to their families that we will never forget.
Good morning, Venice High School. Welcome to the Friday, September 10th episode of VTV News. I'm Mr. Grant, and here are your morning announcements. Have you made an impact this week? These two have. Congrats to Luciano Somanzini, nominated by Mrs. Brantley, and Zoe O'Leary, nominated by Mr. Velez. Luciano and Zoe were caught being safe, respectful, and responsible. Great job. See Mrs. Foster to claim your reward for making your impact. And don't forget, every Friday at 2.15, PBIS is bringing the Kona Ice Truck here to Venice High School. Bring your money and stop by the new gym right after school to get yourself some Kona Ice for the ride home. Did you know that attendance can impact your driving privileges? If you have 15 unexcused absences within a 90-day rolling period, you are considered habitually absent in the state of Florida, and your driver's license or permit will be suspended. Attend school so you can learn and stay on the road. It's an important part of being a responsible student here at Venice High School. If you would like to join FBLA, there will be a meeting on Monday, September 13th in room 4106. We hope to see you there. Attention all FFEA members, we hope to see you at our meeting on Monday, September 13th. We will be discussing upcoming events, social plans, and the next kid camp. On Tuesday, September 14th, Florida State University will virtually visit Venice High School at 9 a.m. Seniors, come to Rotary Futures a few minutes before 9. You must have a teacher's permission to attend. And we're going to take a quick commercial break here on VTV News, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey guys, September 20th is School Spirit Week. Make sure to dress out and show all your school spirit. These are the days. Monday Sports Day. Make sure to wear your favorite sports team's attire. Tuesday is Decades Day. Dress up and get groovy for your favorite decade. Wednesday is Rocky Wednesday. Wear the craziest outfit you have. Thursday is Class Color Day. Freshmen wear purple, sophomore wear red, juniors wear blue, and seniors wear green. Friday is Green and White Day. Show your school spirit by wearing green and white. Guys, not gonna lie, that was not a good job. What he happened to the plan? There was a plan. Did you come here to win or did you come here to win, people? That's what I thought. Get your head in the game. Stick to the plan. Right. Win on three. One, two, three, win. Let's go. Come back September 20th. Fourth Powderpuff Football at 6 p.m. Monday. You heard it. Powderpuff Football is on Monday, September 20th at 6 p.m. Sign-up forms are available in first floor admin from September 13th through 17th, and only the first 20 people in each class can sign up. It is $10 to sign up. Be there or be square. I'm Shay, and I'm the secretary. My name is Rhea, and I'm the vice president. And I'm Maya, and I'm the president of Coexistence Club, and we're here to let you know a little bit about our club and what we're going to do at BHS. We are destroying in football. It is crazy. Our team is on top. You going to the game Friday? Yeah, the student section is going to be so crazy. Coexistence Club? Have you heard about that? No. Did I just hear you say Coexistence Club? What's it about? Well, give me a second. Let me tell you about it. Of course. It. Okay, so basically the club is about embracing diversity, religion, going against, you know, um, prejudice, racist, all that different stuff. And we just learn about the different cultures with, from our students and like staff here at Venice High and embrace it by decorating the halls okay. and then later on celebrating it by, you know, listening to some music, Ooh. eating, Ooh. the eating part. Mm -hmm. like that sounds good. Like a food oh. truck, what? hint, hint. Anyways, but hint. for example, have you heard about where Shay's from? Shay, where are you from? I'm from Guam. No, I haven't heard about that. See, at oh. Coexistence Club, we'll learn about different places like that and her culture there and embrace it. Oh, I see. Well, I guess I'm going to have to come check it out. All right. We do a lot of fun activities such as embracing our differences for Unity Day. And our next meeting is September 16th after school in Senor Cincerelli's room, 458. Show up Thursday, September 16th after school. Any questions, comments, or concerns, please let myself, Caleb, Maya, Shay, Maria, or Erica know. <laughs> Go to Coexistence Club. See you there. September 13th to September 17th. 
to sign up. We play on September 22nd from 6 to 8 p.m. We hope to see you there. What you're making now, nah, I don't believe in luck Clapping like the thunder, breaking through the storm Never going under, cause fearless I was born Fly like an eagle, eyes like a hawk They call me the undertaker when I make those bodies drop A living legend, when I keep a passion No defeat, cause I'm elite Welcome back. Teachers, please correct your City on a Hill flyers that may be up in your room. City on a Hill meets each and every Wednesday from 2.15 to 3 p.m. in room 4118. Snacks and Bibles are provided. Do you want to join Zoology Club? This is a reminder that if you would like to join Zoology Club, applications and dues need to be turned in at the September 15th meeting after school in room 4257. If you don't have an application, see Mr. Rossheim in room 4257 today to pick one up. On Wednesday, September 15th, Hofstra University in New York will virtually visit Venice High at 11.30 a.m. Seniors, come to Rotary Futures a few minutes before 11.30. You must have teacher permission to attend. Come join Indian Outreach to help give back to the Venice community. First meeting after school in room 4342 this Wednesday. All students are welcome. The 2022 Warrior Yearbook is officially on sale. You only have one more week to pre-order your copy for $65, which is the lowest available price this year. Order at Balfour.com or in room 4102. Picture Day is coming up next week on Wednesday, September 15th. All students will be taking pictures during their English class, and your English teacher should have given you information about ordering this week. If you're a dual enrollment student or do not have an English class on campus, you can be photographed any time on the 15th in the old gym. Any student who's quarantined on September 15th can be photographed on retake day, October 27th. Club Capstone will meet in Mrs. D'Onofrio's room 4354 on Thursday, September 16th at 2.20 p.m. Join us to learn about service opportunities, social activities, academic enrichment, and the AP Capstone Diploma Program. FSA retakes for reading and math will begin next week. Juniors or seniors that need to meet those graduation requirements should see the posted list for information on when and where they will be testing. See your guidance counselor or Mr. Robertson if you have any questions. And now, let's get into sports. Anyone interested in playing soccer this season? Please see Coach Dave in room 4159 anytime. And there will be an informational meeting today after school at 2.30 at the outside cafeteria regarding preseason conditioning and tryouts. Are you interested in playing on the Venice High tennis team this spring? There will be open courts every Monday at 3 p.m. beginning September 20th. All are welcome, but you must have your athletic paperwork submitted in order to participate. Please see Coach Robertson if you have any questions. 
Last week, the Venice girls golf team continued their winning ways by defeating rival Lemon Bay by 43 strokes. Medals for the Lady Indians was once again senior Elizabeth Ireland shooting a 42, including a birdie on the last hole. The team is currently 5-0 and and are heading into two major tournaments this weekend. Good luck, ladies. Your varsity football Indians are 1-0 and after a 41-7 beatdown of the Edgewater Eagles on Friday night. Here are some of the highlights. It's your Indians again and the Edgewater Eagles. Powell Davis Stadium filling up right now. Fans still filing in. And here come your Indians. DJ Escort with that big block by Phillip on the outside. 3-2-1. Brown's got the fade. Can Platt bring it in? Touchdown. He does touchdown. For John Massoni, I'm Josh Grant. Thanks for joining us live. Thanks to Vibrant Aspect Media and the Venice Indians Touchdown Club for bringing this broadcast to you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you live at 7 o'clock only on VeniceIndianFootball.org. With the victory, Venice is ranked number one in 8A competition, number 10 in Florida, and number 57 in the nation by Max Preps, and have moved up to number 62 from number 88 in the nation, according to High School Football America. DJ Escort and Omari Hayes each had two rushing touchdowns, and quarterback Ryan Brown had a rushing touchdown and one through the air on a beautiful fade to Jay Platt for his first passing touchdown as a Venice Indian. Shout out to that starting defense who shut out Edgewater in the three quarters they played. George Phillip led the way with one and a half sacks and nine tackles, while Damon Wilson had eight tackles, McKaylin Clayton had seven, and Trenton Kintai with six. Tonight, Coco comes to town with a 2-0 record and is currently ranked 14th in the state, according to MaxPreps.com. This is a matchup that you don't want to miss. Get to Powell Davis Stadium early, as it will be a packed house. Can't join us in person? Join myself and John Massoni live on www.VeniceIndianFootball.org as we bring you the best, the premier live football broadcast in the state of Florida. And most importantly, we will be paying tribute to the 20-year anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. All first responders and military members and one guest will be admitted into the game for free with a valid ID. And that'll do it for me here on VTV News. Next week, the students take back control of the news inside the studio and all over campus. I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do. There's a lot of talent in that room, and I cannot wait for them to get started. You'll see me around, but this is your show run by you. So for all of us here at VTV News, I'm Mr. Grant wishing you all a great weekend.